everyone, welcome. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Happy Memorial Day, everyone. Monday is Memorial Day, the market will be closed. And I really was not anticipating on trading today because it is the day before a holiday where the market will be closed and it usually is low volume. And actually this gap had low volume. This really had like next to no volume in the morning. But I saw it and I thought, ah, it's gonna work. So I ended up doing it. Uh, I really was not going to do anything if this hadn't set up today, though. And it just so happened that the volume did come in fast. So I do have rules for those kinds of things, which I review and go over in the GAT course. But let's take a look at it. What what a nice, I mean, this is, I'm not in this anymore, but this is a, this is a dream target. This is a dream target for Marvell. This looks like it's, it's actually 13. I mean, it got within 16 cents here. This is a good, this is, this this should go to 13 today, and I'm again, I'm done. I like to be done in the morning. I do not like to trade all day, but Marvell, look at this. Wow. Let me just look at something here if I had stayed in it down to this point. Hold on. Or if I stayed in it to 13, which I didn't. I just want to see something here. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. Well, I did the right thing being out of this by now, but look, here, it's still going. Beautiful. All right, let's look at it. So Marvell open, rallying. All the volume came in here, so it was fine. And I shorted this here with a tight, 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 tight stop. Boom. And it fell. It absolutely 100% fell off a planet. And then I actually decided to redo it, which sometimes I'll do a trade, take the whole thing and get out. Sometimes I'll do a trade take the whole thing and then get out of half and let the half ride down. I got out of this whole thing in here because I really was going to just quit for the day and was prepared to do so. But then I was checking emails and doing stuff and just trying to catch up on my life. Look, here, this is going to 13. And I saw this basing, basing, basing. I decided to do it again. <laughs> so I decided to do this again and I got one more drop in this into here. Really, I was looking for 1330-ish. So I did get a second move in this, but this is going to 13. Wow. Wowie! Well, it's trying. 15. So this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful golden gap here for today. Day before a holiday. Couldn't ask for more. You just never know until you get up in the morning and look for gaps. And I do really love wonderful golden gaps. But this was one of the ones where he had to have the right setup. And I really was looking for a quick move and all out. I did get that in this, but then I saw it reset up again and it was just weak, 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 weak. And I really liked the weakness in this today and it did have the volume to come into it into the open period and the gap did rate well. So when the gap rates well, you can do it. So this was a nice solid day in here on a Friday, day before a long weekend. I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. I am running a Memorial Day special for the class if you're interested. Email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. The special is if you sign up for the June course by Memorial Day on Monday, you will receive the rest of the trading room, the year in the trading room for free. That is an outstanding deal. I've never offered anything like that before. That means you could take all my calls, get all my plays, the trades when I call them and take them, which I say where I get in and where I put the stop, the targets, the resistance, everything, support and all the numbers I put in the room and every topic I have every day, you would get in the room to be able to trade and make money with me. So it's a great deal. And uh, you have to take the Golden Gap class in order to be in the live trading room. And that's a requirement, it's a good requirement because I want people to know what they're doing when they're trading. It was set up very quick today. And uh, you, could have, you could have just really hammered this thing today. I mean, I did, I did pump up the volume in this today. I mean, I took it full force with my normal size. I just never thought it would go to 13. But at the end of the day, you really can't, I mean, I did a great job with this today. You really can't go back and worry about getting out at the low of the day. I mean, if you get out and you're within 20, 25 cents of the low or something, that's still fantastic. And again, time of the day here. Have to watch time of the day. Have to watch everything that's going on in this and everything every time that you trade. But every time I see something that is good, that is working, I always say to people, try to maximize the trade. Try to maximize the trade. So when I saw this setting up in here, I decided to redo it. Again, the only reason I got out of the whole thing in here is because of the holiday. But then I saw it setting up, I redid it. And if I had lost, I still would have been up in the day. So 
that was that was the other thing too, which I knew. So I took the risk and took a chance and let it go on down. Uh, it is very important for people to know what they're doing when they trade. It is so extremely important, I cannot tell you. It is easy to make money doing stupid stuff in the market, but when you do stupid things, you actually just will make the money then doing something stupid and give it back to the market. And this is the insanity of the world that many traders live in. You have to do smart things, smart trades, smart picks, smart stocks, smart gaps, and know what you're doing like really know what you're doing the way that I do in order to make money consistently because you have to make money in an intelligent fashion in the market if you want to keep it. If you're able to make money in an intelligent fashion in the market, you will be able to consistently continue to make it and you will also be able to risk more and make more over time because how do you actually make more in this? By risking more. That's really the only way to do it. And you could have whomped it on in this today. The stop was tight in this Marvell and really, from the entry I got up in here, again, I, I this didn't get to 13 yet and I'm not in it anymore, but, well, now this is a dollar from here from even 13.15 where it got down, if I'd held it down to 13.15, which like I said, I didn't, but I do think it gets to 13 today. But my entry was right here. So, you know, it's all about the sizing. For example, if you had taken 5,000 shares of this today, and held it all the way down for a dollar, you could have made five grand in this. Amazing. And actually, I had to stop at 18. I mean, I was tight, 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 tight with this today. And it really was because of the holiday, too. Holiday, too, the way that it opened, lack of volume in the morning in the pre market. I was tight with Marvell. I, but I really felt that the way that it opened and the positioning of it and the price of the open of the gap and the volume and the holiday and everything, everything I was looking at. I felt that I, the only way I could do this today or anything at all would be to be tight. So I was very, very tight with this. But to take a risk like that, an eight cent risk, if you took 5,000 shares, it's 400 bucks. And you would have made five grand in this today. And even if you didn't get out, you know, even if you get out of it before, around the 330 area, you know, right into here, into the drop, you still would have had a fantastic day risking four hundred dollars over four grand so that's the power of the gap you gotta have the right pick you gotta have the good ones how do i do it i have a 26 point golden gap rating system that tells me the right gap to play each day and marvell rated today good enough to do and it worked it rated per the system so i did it but i was prepared to do nothing today because of the holiday but it worked and no one should be trading this afternoon within the next eight minutes the market will probably just pitter off and do nothing the rest of the day or close very bullishly over the holiday, which I kind of thought might happen, which I talked about a week ago. But either way, Monday the market's closed. The Golden Gap class is June 6th and 7th. I'm running a special through Monday. If you want to sign up for the Golden Gap class for June, you get the rest of the live trading room for the year for free if you sign up by Monday. Any questions, email me. I'll be around this week and enjoying my amazing, amazing apartment, city, New York, and just an amazing life. It is Fleet Week, rooftop bar season, and the weather could not be more gorgeous. So have a great weekend, everyone, and email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.